Good morning, everyone. We've survived another week. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We'll give everyone a little bit of time to Is log Gwen in. Here? Gwen might be watching. Chocolate face over here is having some chocolate this morning. Another lovely day outside, so hopefully you get to have some outside time today. Monica and I are going to plant some pea seeds this afternoon. Pea seeds. We got, um, we soaked them last night, so hopefully we can plant them today. This morning? Mm, this afternoon. Are you playing peekaboo? You can be all shy. We can see your hand. There you go. Smile. Ha! Ah! So on Friday afternoon and Saturday, I got story time planned out for the rest of the month. So I have all my days ready for you so that we can make sure that we have something fun to do every day and make sure that we keep up that reading time because that's really important, especially for our, for especially for our kiddos that are learning to read. And it's really important that even our big kids that can read. It's important for them to be read to on a regular basis too. All right, well, it's 10.05. I don't see anyone officially logged in, but I don't want to wait too much longer because it's kind of boring for you to just stare at me into the camera here. And Miss Annika is very excited today. Should we start? Mm -hmm. All right. You ready to count with me? One. Hey, everybody, count one. Two. Just count one. Three. Story time has just begun. Everybody count two. What do we do for two? <laughs> shake your shoulders. Shake your shoulders. Shake them, shake them, shake them. And show your shoes or your toes. <laughs> I have bare feet. Yep, I have bare feet too. <laughs> Everybody count three. Three. Listen very carefully. Everybody count four. Five. Put your bottoms on the yeah. floor. I'm or dead. Bed or couch <laughs> or chair <laughs> or wherever you're listening today. Or your draft seat. Or your what? Or your draft seat. Or your draft seat. We have a draft chair. So maybe you're listening from the draft chair. All right. So I have for you today some of uh, very fun books for imagination. And if you're like me, um, you have about 50 different Amazon boxes because you have a bit of a Amazon obsession. Baby giraffe. 
don't want to. Are you going to bring baby giraffe over here? Okay. Uh, you have a bit of an Amazon obsession and you have lots of empty boxes around. Um, so this book is perfect for that. This is called Not a Box by That's Antoinette Portis. And this has won the Theodore Seuss Giesel Honor Award. And then we also have the sequel to that called Not a Stick, which is perfect for going outside and using your imagination. Also by Antoinette Portis. Um, I came across Not a Box, oh, probably almost 10 years ago um, when I was working on my teaching degree and we I was taking a children's literature class or, an, yeah, I had to do a lesson assignment um, that had involved writing for like first graders. And so this was a book that I used and it, as a writing prompt. And so it's super fun and sparks some creativity. So if you want to go out today and create something from a box or create something from a stick, feel free to share your photos um, on our Facebook page. Annika and I will probably, she created a, a car out of a long block box um, yesterday. And then we have some other boxes and then we have a dinosaur school and all kinds of fun stuff so the dinosaur school? remember you made the dinosaur school or the flamingo school or whatever out of the cardboard box in the living room i think it's a dying i think it's a flamingo school a flamingo school and the draft school oh and a draft school too okay so this book hopefully will spark some creativity all right, and I'm going to adjust the camera here a little bit. We're sitting in, in Annika's room for a little bit of change of venue here today, too. So camera's at a different angle. All right, Not a Box by Antoinette Portis. Ready? The net weight on this is 11.5 ounces, just in case you're wondering. Ready? Mm -hmm. Not a box. To children everywhere, sitting in cardboard boxes. Why are you sitting in a box? Why do you think? Because he wants a race car. Because he wants a race car. I'm going to tilt this down so you can see the pictures better. You don't need to see my face. It's not a box. What is it? A racing car. A racing car. I guess it is. I guess it you is. did guess it. What are you doing on top of that box? Because he wants to raise on the white. What do you think it is? Going to be a. It. It's not a box. It's a mountain. Why are you squirting a box? Because he wants it stable. He wants it stable. I said it's not a box. What is it? Firefighter hose. It's a firefighter hose and he's putting out the fire of the burning building. Now you're wearing a box. This is not a box. It's a robot. It's a robot. <coughs> it's a rabbot. A rabbot. Like a rabbit robot. Are you still standing around in that box? What do you think it is now? It's not, 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 not a box. <gasps> it's a pirate ship or a hot air balloon or a, elephant. a saddle for an elephant. 
or a cruise ship. Well, what is it then? What do you think it is? It's a box. Now he's sitting on it. It's a garbage can. It's a garbage can? It's my not a box. Now it's his rocket ship. Shoom! All the way to the moon. But I'm trying to make a car seat so she can see. So you can use your imagination and decide what your box will be. Sticks. All right. Now, not a stick. Antoinette Portis. What's a not a stick? We're going to find out. Not a stick. Hey, be careful with that stick. What's he going to say? I'm not. It's not a stick. What is it? A wrapping room paper. It's a fishing pole. And he's catching a shark. He might need a bigger fishing pole. Whoops, I skipped a page. I think. Maybe not. Look where you're going with that stick. I'm tall. There, there. What stick? Now he's in a marching band. Watch where you put that, where you point that stick. Uh oh. I'm trying to make a car seat. This so is see. not a stick. What's he doing? It's a paint word. It's a paintbrush. Now, what are you doing with that stick? It's blowing it. It's not a stick. He's lifting weights. Don't trip on that stick. I'm telling you, it's not a stick. What's his stick? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Don't know. A horse. My picture. So, still standing around with that stick? Okay. This is not, not, not a stick. It's a spear, and he's a caveman. In the dark. With glowing eyes. Okay. Um, then what is it? What do you think it is? It's a wagga wagga. It's a wagga wagga? It can wobble like a wagga. <gasps> it's a sword. sword. To fight off the dragon. And... Um, he got a shield and keep him alive from a jack. It's my not a stick. And there he goes, pulling the dragon along on a leash. So hopefully those books spark some creativity for you today. All right, we have a little song for you. Mama. It's not a stick song or a box song because those are hard to find. All right, hey, this Mama. is called, yes. He doesn't have a white blanket. Well, I'm going to borrow the, the 
song, and then you can have your white blanket back, okay? But it's not the perfect size for her back. Oh, well, she can have it back in just a minute. This is called One Little Finger. So get everybody get your fingers ready. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, 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 point to the ceiling, point to the floor, and give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Ready? Now get two fingers. Two little fingers, two little fingers, two little fingers, tap, tap, tap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, and give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Can you clap? Ready? Now we hold with three fingers. Three little fingers, three little fingers, three little fingers. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, and give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Ready? Four little fingers, four little fingers, four little fingers. Tap, tap, tap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, and give your hands a clap, clap, clap. What comes next? Five little fingers, five little fingers, five little fingers. Tap, tap, tap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, and give your hands a clap, clap, clap. And put them in your lap, lap, lap. Or your giraffe. Or your giraffe. Or put them on your giraffe. All right. So that's a good little song when some friends need some settling downtime. Or instead of putting them in your lap, you could do something else with them, like um, touching your toes or tapping your head. Or then after you are done with the song, you could run around in circles. Or you could do some jumping jacks. Or... You could see how high you could jump, or you could hop on one foot, or you could tap your toes. You could do it with your toes instead. But I don't know how to tap on one leg, but I don't know. That's why I keep falling down with one leg up. Oh, dear. All right. I'm not very good at that. Well, that's okay. Well, that's all I have for you today. We'll sing our goodbye song in a minute. But if you have some fun box things that you made today or any time this week or stick things that you make any time this week, feel free to share them on our page. Um, I'll take a picture of Annika's car that she made yesterday. And if we make anything else today, I'll take a picture of it and post it. My friend. Because mm -hmm. boxes are fun to play with. Um... Maybe it gives you some inspiration and something fun to do while we're all at home. And maybe you can go on a little nature walk to find some fun sticks to make stuff with today since it's so nice outside. All right, so we will sing our goodbye song and then I will see you on Wednesday. Miss Becca will see you tomorrow. And then um, I'll post up the schedule, at least for my books, um, this afternoon. I'm sure I'm um, I on have one Easter dad, book and I have another one whoa. coming, so we should be able whoo, to do Easter stories on Friday. Easter? Yeah, because Easter is on Sunday, so we should be able to do some Easter stories on Friday. And I have some little fun Easter songs for us to sing, too. All right. Are you ready? Ready for goodbye song? Mm -hmm. All right. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. 
Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. All right, friends. I miss you all. I wish I could see you in person so that we could have fun and do crafts together. But you'll just have to do your crafts by your with your families and take pictures. Um, and I will see you on Wednesday. All right. You want to say goodbye? Goodbye. You want Giraffe to say goodbye? You're going to have to bring, bring Giraffe down into the camera. Whoa, there goes Giraffe jumped into the camera. All right, have a wonderful <laughs> afternoon. Enjoy some sunshine, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Jump to a camera.